All right, I wanna talk a little bit more about economy picking. Um, this is a, a device I like to use a lot, obviously. Um, the song uh, Inamorata, I kind of use it as the, um, kind of the fundamental concept for the whole song and the, the main theme. What I'm doing is um, ascending a, an add nine chord. Up here, I'm in uh, C sharp. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna downstroke the first three note, notes. Then I'm gonna upstroke down to the seventh degree of the, of the triad. And then up to the octave. So you've got. So, um. I use that all over the place in the song. It gets a bit more involved um, on the B section of the main riff where I go. Which is kind of like a sliding fifth sort of concept. Um, you can also do the exact same riff in the lower lower register. Um, it's a little bit more tricky, um, but it's still useful. Um, there's another portion of the song where uh, I kind of take the same concept and use it in this descending lick. I'm gonna transpose it a step up for the sake of this example, but um, it pretty much goes like this. So I'm starting at the 17th fret of the E string, descending to the 15th fret, and my last note's gonna be on the um, 14th fret of the G string. At that point, I wanna downstroke um, to the 12th fret on the G string. From 12, I wanna ascend to the 15th fret on the B string and the 13th fret on the E string. And I'm gonna come back down those three notes, 13th fret, 15th fret, 12th fret. At this point, I want to downstroke a full step below that 12th fret to the 10th fret. At that point, I want to upstroke the, to the 14th fret on the G string and continue to upstroke through this add 9 shape. So that's going to be 14, 12, and uh, 10. So you've got this. At that point, you want to continue the pattern by descending a full step below the root and then going up a, minor, a major third to uh, the 12th fret on the E string, on the A string. And I'm gonna descend from the E string to, um, to, that, uh, to the lowest note here on the 10th fret, I mean, the eighth fret on the B string. So all together you got this. From there, you want to send the exact notes, so you're going to go. This is where the picking becomes a bit more obvious, where um, I'm repeating the same pattern with my with my right hand. So um, we're going to start at the 8th fret of the uh, B string and ascend this add 9 shape to the 12th fret of the A string. Then upstroke to the flat 7 of that, of that shape and then move up a full step to the octave. So you've got, from there we're going to do the exact same thing. So together it looks like this. From that point, we're going to slide from the 10th fret to the 12th fret. Go up a full step to the 15th fret of the E string. Down a half step to the uh, 14th fret of the E string. This is gonna be the beginning of our second half of the, um, the lick. So you've got. From here, we're gonna do the exact same pattern that we started off with, but we're just starting it down at the 14th fret on the E string as opposed to the 17th fret. When we get 
to the lowest point, we're gonna ascend it again. Now, the picking's obvious here, once again, we're repeating the exact same thing, just you know, a step and a half lower. So if you combine the two, you get this. Um, so you can you can kind of take that same approach and uh, use it for other licks. For I really like it with the add nine sound. Um, there's other shapes that would it would work with. If you don't feel like you know doing a full three octave sort of descending lick, you can kind of focus on one octave. Um, so uh, like for instance, you could take this and A. I'm sorry, E. So now I'm going one five flat seven nine one five. So from here, I'm gonna do nine, ten, seven, twelve. Which gives you like something in between um, alternate picking and, and sweeping. It sounds very, uh, it doesn't sound like a straight minor triad. It kind of has more of a dispersed, uh, ambiguous to tonality to it, which I kind of like. You have, of course, resolved that to lower octave if you want. It's all based off the nine shape, but there's other, um, you know, arpeggios you could you could base it off of. So uh, I hope that's useful for you. Uh, another way, another way to economy pick. Um, here's a little etude you could use to uh, kind of practice this uh, economy picking technique. Here, um, we're gonna take the same E minor um, add nine shape. We're gonna add a few chords to make a progression out of it. So the actual shapes are gonna be. To a, a G, just a basic triad. I mean, a basic power chord, no, no third in it. So we have E, G, then you go up a step to A, A9 to, to C. C major is going to be the last. So, um, now to kind of ascend this chord progression with this sort of economy picking thing, um, we're going to do the same pattern as before. At that point, you want to slide to the 10th fret and descend this, this G chord. We've got 10, 11, 10, 13, 12, 12, and 10. So um, that's all upstroked. Um, well, actually just upswept. So we got... On that last upstroke, you want to downstroke and slide your finger up a full step. Do the same pattern as the first. From here, we're going to descend a C major 7 triad. That's going to be um, 19, 15, 17, 17, 16, 17, 19, and 15. Your last note will be the beginning of the, of the riff, so all together you've got... I mean, um, a faster tempo is going to sound pretty cool. So uh, hopefully that gives you more ideas of how to, you know, apply hybrid picking in various ways on the fretboard. Um, Tosin Abasi with jamplay.com. Thanks.